Aloha everyone, Max with Asian Geek Squad and finally here with my IFA 2023 video. My video about IFA 2023 is a little bit different. I'm going to highlight some tech but pretty much focus on my experience with IFA 2023. I'm just going to break down this video first with the cost, some of the coolest tech that I saw and finally like what I did on a day-to-day -day basis. What I learned, um, which I'll pretty much just talk about it in general. One thing that really surprised me is how many people asked me for a business card. Being a content creator, I had stickers. <laughs> I have these, um, but all right. So first let's talk about the cost. Um, I am staying in Spain, so it's, that's one of the reasons I decided to go was because I'm here in Spain. And normally I live in Hawaii, and if I were to go living in Hawaii, this would just cost way more money. So. It still costs a lot of money. Airfare, we have $470.80. Um, hotel, so I tried to be cheap. I stayed in a hostel the first three nights, and the last night I stayed in a hotel. So that was $552.80. Transportation, transportation for me ended up being a little bit more expensive than I expected. $182.25 for four days. Um, I did have to use Uber like three times and food. Food is the, the cheapest expense because I will just eat whatever is the cheapest for me to survive and I'm estimating that at around $120. So the total cost for me is $1,325.85. Not too bad for a four day work trip. Um, I did itemize this already so I can I have to do this for taxes anyway, so it's all prepared. <laughs> Let's talk about the coolest tech. Um, there are a lot of cool tech, but there's one particular thing that I thought was really cool. And I think the main reason why is because it was an announcement. The Honor Magic V Fold 2 seemed really interesting, lighter, thinner than the Galaxy Z Fold 5, larger battery. And that was just a cool device to touch, hold, feel, use. Yeah, that seemed like the latest and greatest, coolest smartphone there. And unfortunately, we can't buy it anywhere, which is a concept phone called a V-Purse. And pretty much it's a foldable, but the outer part of the phone is all display. You can attach the purse part on the other, on the two sides and it turns into a purse. So that was really cool. It just seemed to be really cool and different, um, something I guess I haven't seen yet. Two more things. Um, one is that I'm going to be reviewing soon is the Withing Scan Watch Lite. I'm, I'm particularly more interested about the Lite. It, even though it's smaller, it still has 30 day battery life. And yeah, it was just really, really cool. It still has all the high tech. And yeah, that will be, I'll be doing that review in about a week or two. The coolest thing is as soon as you entered, there was this machine that you would just order from the display and would dispense a drink for you. <laughs> took about a minute, but still, that was pretty cool. Um, I didn't order this drink. This was at 10 a.m. Right, right when the show floor opened. So yeah, good for that guy. Attend two things on day zero, um, which is pretty much before the event, before the main event, for press and it was two days i arrived midnight of day one so day two was going to be samsung in the morning and showstoppers at night and samsung um you know got excited posted pictures online and got there early and guess what you need a special invitation not just the press invitation so <laughs> I just laughed and I was like, okay, well, I can't do anything about it. And it's just really unfortunate. Literally, you guys could have just put, so here's the schedule. Um, you could have just put special invitation only and that was it. And there was, there was quite a few of us, I would say at least 20 to 25 when I showed up that were pretty much on the side having the same issues, assuming that we would be able to get in. Um, yeah, because we were press and this is press time before the main event. Also, I mean, I guess I could have gone back during the actual press showing, but I'll show you guys a picture. So here's a picture of the map. 
this is all of the booths and it seems small it's a picture but from one side to another it's i think like two football fields it, it's a huge huge event there's even shuttles inside because it just takes a long time to go from one end to the other i don't know maybe maybe someone will tell me what happened <laughs> All right, so yeah, it was kind of funny. Show up, woo, and they're like, no, you can't get in. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll go have lunch. <laughs> and then the afternoon event, the showstoppers. Oh man, this, oh, I missed this event because I got a little lost and by the time I got there, I was just exhausted and decided not to even enter and just head home. Um, with a place being so big is when you search for information, you assume that it's going to take you to the right place. So if you just search for M-E-S-S-E -S -S -E Berlin, which is the name of where this is all being held, and you take a metro, well, from here to the south entrance, it's about at least another half an hour, at least another half hour walk. And I think I'll write a blog about this as well. So in case you want to go in the future, um, I'll write some tips and tricks of which entrances and exits to take that would literally save time and yeah especially if you're carrying all your gear around the first day um yeah that that would probably have alleviated a lot of the stress of just trying to find this location day one finally honor day one we went in there <laughs> the official ifa started i was happy and yeah like i can finally go in <laughs> And the cool thing about the event, um, they had press time between 8 and 10 before the main show floor opened for the general public. So I was able to go inside, um, walk around a little bit before the honor event happened. Um, they had some they had some swag, which was nice. A um, little notebook and some pens and a water, which was very great. I was very thankful. Um, water there I think was four euros so thank you for saving me four euros <laughs> so that was main part of day one was just the honor going afterwards going there going to the main booth and walking around they had a fashion show afterwards there was even an event that night um yeah and I just walked around just trying to get a feel of the area I guess even tech ready I, I was just in the moment enjoying taking notes of things where some of my other colleagues who were there, you know, I followed them on Instagram and checked their stories and they pretty much recorded a little bit from each booth and highlighted some things where I'm just, where I'm just literally enjoying and checking out the booths like, oh, the, okay, I'll make a note, I'll come back here. For me, I think this worked a little bit to my advantage only because pretty much the first day I used as a planning day besides the honor event that I wanted to really go to. And then so the second day was, okay, I know exactly where I want to go. I know exactly which companies I want to meet with. I know what I want to pitch. Um, yeah, speaking of which, I'm actually meeting with one of the, one of the reps um, here in Spain. Yeah, so... Pretty cool to make that connection, and now we're gonna be um, talking in a few hours. <laughs> what I have learned, maybe do some additional research beforehand. Um, I didn't do that. I like to just go and experience things, um, but that would have helped me, like which exit to take on the metro that's closest to the north entrance, that's closest to the south entrance, um, to save you some time in the mornings. Um, you can also just take Uber everywhere. Uber is available in Berlin, but it's not very cheap. Whereas public transportation, you but you can buy a day pass, a seven day pass, and use it unlimited. I think the only downside to that is Mess Berlin, where the location is to the rest of the city, is pretty far. So I'm commuting about 50 minutes each way. So maybe stay in a hotel right next to there if you just want to focus on work and yeah, there are hotels about a block or two away that I would probably recommend, that I would probably stay at if I were to go back a second or third IFA. Make sure you're comfortable and you bring whatever it is you need for the day. Um, whether it's another portable battery pack to make sure your devices are charged, 
Um, this is a tech convention, so you can sit down. There's a lot of booths that have charging stations um, that promote, like, you know, case accessories. So check those out. Um, what I learned is I would probably stay longer to check out the lesser known or the other booths. Because to be honest, I probably stopped by maybe 15% of the booths. Yeah, there's just so many. And in two days, I was able to cover about 15 to 20%, I would say, maximum. I don't I didn't even get to check out the um, what's new area there's like startup areas and there's so much different part of tech that they have at IFA and maybe I'll go back if I was sponsored <laughs> so maybe putting that out into the universe all right so that is my long talk about IFA um, yeah I think for me, I really need to get in the mindset of being there to record um, as opposed to just being present. You, can, you have to realize that this is work and pretty much have a recording device on the whole time you're there. At least maybe 50 to 70% of the time. Um, yeah, just to capture and highlight those products of IFA. All right. Uh, yeah, if you made it here, thank you. If you guys have any questions, yeah, leave me a comment down below. All right. I am going to finish editing these videos. Lots of editing to do today. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Aloha.